was going to start grinding at you. <laughs> I think he's trying to knit you, but you're not being... I'm not being knittable. Knittable. Hi, Tilly. He's going to get a neck crick. <laughs> you okay? Oh, you okay, buddy? Oh dear, life is challenging. Life is hard. Please to meet your son. It's your throat itch. You're trying to get to your brain to scratch. Go through your nose, Wolfric. Turkey neck down that one. Surely this is going to happen. Your, your foot has pointy corners and the turkey neck doesn't. Oh, hello. 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 Oh, you're throwing my white balance off the top. to eat it. It's okay. Um, 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 um. Where are you going to? You going for a wonder? No, I'm going to see. Your back leg's not in the sun though. That's because Alfie needs to move. You take care of him, okay? You send him to the dim sim man. Oh. We have dim sims for dinner. Tell Scab to disappoint her. Ew. Oh dear. You can't fit your, your, your thigh into the, the the throat either, darling. Entangled. Perpetually. What are you doing? Oh dear. You see inside of your mouth itchy. Are you trying to scratch your brain through your throat? Is he trying to lick the back of his ankle? Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's all down there and he's just trying to get his tongue to I don't know. I think wondering what Albert Milford is thinking is probably a path to madness. Do, 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 do. Little bear on a Trust golf cool. cart driving around and around. And around. <sighs> Oh, now he's doing both front and back leg at the same time. Multitask. Multitask. You can only fit one leg. Ew. Mm. You can only fit one leg in your mouth at a time though, but not both of them. I wonder what Marie would see if we showed her this footage. It might actually be worthwhile showing it to her, just to see what she thinks. She'll be like, yes, yeah. he's, he's, he's strange. Special. <laughs> he's special. You've confirmed it. <laughs> I'm pretty oh, sure she's, she's, she's specifically it. referred to him as special in the yeah. past, I believe. Because he's a very special wolf Yes. yes. At least his feet are untangled. Oh. That's surprisingly coordinated. Yeah, I was going to say he's like, oh, no. He overshot. <laughs> You okay? I don't think other dogs have this problem with the tangling of the back and front legs. Mm. You okay, buddy? He looks pretty. He looks pretty um chill now. Look at those bad ears. Look at those wrinkles. 
pink me like one of your front girls. Oh, that's like the perfect. All right, we got back from Tasman and the supermarket. It was really, really slim pickings from Tasman. So we've got um, a bunch of whole chickens. Um, we're gonna we're gonna try stretch out one tray per night. Um, just to go for a few nights because I'm going to be in Abbotsford so I'll be here. Some lamb hearts, um, just a tray of flaps, some pig's ears that haven't been like treated or anything so a little bit gross but should be okay uh, to handle. Some chicken wings that were on special fish, uh, they're sardines and a bag of drumsticks so we're pretty low on offal this week but I mean, that's all right. We balance out by the end of the month, so. Uh, and they were pretty heavy on awful last week, so not too bad. You found the fridge? Oh, good boy. He had a good walk at the park? Yeah, happy one. So we're at Abbotsford now. Um, Wilfred did really well in the car as normal. And then as soon as we got home, I took him straight to the park. We walked around for about half an hour. He just uh, left lots of wee mail and he didn't get to meet anyone at the park, unfortunately. But, um, hang on, bud, I'm coming. But, uh, he did meet the postman on the way home and just the postman was just sitting on our next door neighbor's step. Um, do I enough hands? Hang on. So the next door, uh, the person sitting was on the ne on the next door neighbor's step, just having a break. So we got to get some cuddles from the postie, and he was very happy mm -hmm. about that. It doesn't this way. Now we're gonna have some fruit salad for lunch. Finish our coffee. Yeah, Wilfred's really good at the steps now. He can go up and down the stairs, no problem. Although he doesn't go down them by himself. Um, so that's actually a good thing. So now I figure he's gonna maybe try and sunbake out here because Toffee used to sunbake all the time out here. He's the same color as the balcony, which I find really funny. Hey. Okay.
abandoned me, Wilfred. Abandoned me. The next pretty young thing that came of oh, oh, he's just like draped himself over your lap. <laughs> he's so happy. Hey guys, it's Tuesday morning. I'm still at Abbotsford. Uh, Wilfred and I had a bit of a lion and then we got really slowly more dressed. I've got some people coming to do quotes today to get some stuff fixed. So that's the agenda for this afternoon. Otherwise, I'm just going to be studying. Um, I have a major assignment due next Monday. Uh, so the plan is to work on it the rest of this week, basically. And that pretty much is... Uh, I might spend a day cleaning when I get home. I get home tonight, like, late like dinner time so I'll have dinner and go to bed um, but I think I might spend Wednesday cleaning and then I'll spend Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday working on my assignment and maybe Monday um, and then I'll be back here on Tuesday probably to finish to clean after the next people leave um, so that's the plan Wilfred did really well um, it's the first time he slept over here overnight it's the first time he's um, I think slept anywhere else apart from my house overnight since we rescued him and he's pretty much happy as long as there's blankets that he can sleep on which he can um, and he can sleep with me in the bed then he's fine uh, we I were Cozzy and I would take because Cozzy came over last night Cozzy and I were taking him out to the park and stuff to do wheeze and everything um, but last night and Last thing last night and first thing this morning, because I wasn't dressed yet, um, I was able to get him to wee in the garage in the like plant area, so that was good. Um, but I'm gonna after all these um, quote people and tradies are done today, um, I'll take him probably for a walk down to the park and let him sniff around. Or if we don't have time to do that, I'll stop at the dog park on the way home in Carayo. Um, and let him have a play there before we go home. But he's going to be home late tonight because we'll probably get back. We'll leave here at like 6.45. So we'll probably get back around 8.15, 8.30 depending on the traffic. Um, and then he'll probably just want to have dinner and head to bed as well because he's an old grumpy man. Guys, I'm pretty excited. I've successfully tracked two days in a row. Yeah. Um, I completely haven't been tracking because I've been eating mindfully. But <clears throat> I'm trying to um, go get back into some weight loss. So I'm starting to track the food that I'm mindfully eating and um, start think getting a bit stricter about what I'm eating and that sort of thing so that's a pretty good job um, I'm finding it's a bit easier to write it down rather than track it on my phone I did get a dupe app for Weight Watchers but I really don't like how it works so um, I can still look up points when I'm like well, after I've been tracking for a while without points I'll start incorporating points again and get back into that but for now I think I'm just 
um, trying to run two or, three t two or three times a week and um, actually tracking the food I eat, so pretty proud of myself. Oh, hey, good news. Um, while I fold the laundry, I heard back from my um, OHS contact to ACU and apparently they have applied for accreditation, industry accreditation. Um, they didn't specify whether it was uh, the UK, like the international standards, or if it's just the Australian standards. Um, but they apparently applied for it two weeks ago, and it takes up to three months, I think, before they can become accredited, if they are going to become accredited. So, um, I think they probably will get accreditation. Um, so that's actually really good news for me, because um, that was kind of the main reason why it was, I was being, like, trying to decide how I would go about figuring out my, um, Masters by Coursework option. So, at the moment, my top picks are Curtin. University in Western Australia um, and ACU and that's purely down to the way the courses run um, in that all the other uh, universities that do it they all require some kind of um, on-campus block work which is not really feasible for me um, especially because some of the blocks are like 35 days long, some of them you need, even if you're doing a Masters by Coursework, you still need to have um, something like, a, like 30 hours contact time with your supervisor, even though you're not doing a thesis. Um, especially the... Hi hey, Wilfred. Especially when you have um, the last unit of most of the coursework is you either do a research project or you do a dissertation. Um, so all the dissertation options involve getting a supervisor involved and usually the research option means you need to be in the industry and you do a research project um, kind of through your current workplace. So I think he wants to be on camera. No? You just want to lie on my laundry. Okay. Anyway, so, um, that's, that's the go at the moment. So if they get accreditation, uh, it comes down to ACU and, um, ACU and Curtin. I've studied through Curtin before and they were okay but not fantastic, but I've never studied OHS through uh, Curtin. I've only studied IT through Curtin. Um, and so like they were okay, but I suspect because they're in WA, any kind of um, like, how do you say, like any, any um, emphasis they have on particular topics will be Sorry, darling. Will be run with a emphasis on uh, like the mining industry and gas and oil and all that stuff. And while it would be useful because the places where I could, um, where I probably will have to work one day if I work in OHS, I'm going to have to work with um, energy energy based industries at some point. Probably, I think everyone probably does. Um, then uh, that would be good because then I would have a better understanding of that but at the same time that's like the least interesting part of OHS in my opinion anything to do with like mining and stuff so I'm really more interested in like the public health aspect um, so like contagious diseases and stuff like that um, so I don't know I mean, the end game, right, is to, is for me to get a job with WorkSafe, WorkSafe being the um, Victorian regulator for workplace health and safety. 
So that would be the Ultima goal. And luckily for me, they're actually relocating their office to Geelong as we speak, and they should be settled in by the end of next year, I think. Um, which makes it a lot easier if, since we do plan to stay in Geelong for at least another 5-10 years, if I could actually have my career here, you know, that would be really, <laughs> that would be really useful. Because otherwise it would certainly end up being a, uh, probably part-time working rather than full-time working, and it would be consulting rather than like, you know, actually getting into the nitty-gritty of things so um, I don't want to be I mean you can make a lot of money being an occupational hygienist but I don't want to be spending my days like adjusting people's chairs and setting their keyboards x distance away from their monitor and stuff like that like that that's the boring part of OHS um, I don't mind writing the research reports and I don't mind writing papers but again, like, you know, it could be more exciting, right? So, yeah, so after I graduate, um, the first thing is to get a, a position. Either probably, I mean, if I can get a part-time position first, that would be good because I can kind of work my way back into working full-time just because I've been out of full-time work for two, two and a half years, three years, I don't know, two and a half years, I think. Um, so it would definitely be easier for me to, and also Mr. Moose and the doggos, for us to transition back into full-time work slowly, just because we're going to have to like restructure some stuff around the house in order to make it work for me to not be at home all the time. Um, <clears throat> and so that would be good. Um, part-time work but then there is also um, there's a graduate program with WorkSafe um, they have a pretty small intake every year and you have to be able to work full-time from uh, I think the start of February every year and so I was gonna actually apply for that because you can be in your last year of study they only accept intake from people in their last year of study and if they've graduated within the last two years. So you've only got a very small window to apply for it. Um, I would basically have a three year window to apply and get into the graduate program. Um, and it's, they basically, hi, they basically organize, uh, Kind of rotations for you so it's a two-year full to two-year full-time course basically you do two six-month rotations and one 12-month rotation and um, they put you into industries um, I think you have a choice of some industries but they basically put you in to teach you all the basics that you need to know so that you can actually go into the industry with some kind of accreditation there um, and so that is a full-time thing. Mm. Thank you. Um, but you need to be able to work full-time from February and my course doesn't finish until um, uh, September, October, November the end of February. My exams aren't till the start of March, I think. Um, so that means I wouldn't actually be able to apply for this year. So um, if I can get a good position, what, what are you doing, Tao? <laughs> Tao's on the table. If I can get a good position, Where are you going to go from here? <laughs> if I can get a good position after I graduate, uh, not necessarily with WorkSafe, then I would take that and that's fine. Um, and do my, start my masters probably in July. Most of the masters are mid-year intake. So that would be good because I'd get 
you know, a couple of months off, three months off. Um, and that would be a nice break from studying and good to kind of transition back into working. Um, but um, if I don't get a position, if I can't find a position until next year, like a OHS or HR position, and um, I'm, I apply for the graduate program and I get in, I would definitely take it. Um, it's just... It's just such a good opportunity, you know, to make contacts. <clears throat> so I would probably go that route. And yeah, but I mean, I'm just really keen on, I guess, um, I'm keen on studying more OHS because I enjoy studying it but also because it's the first thing like it's such a different feeling when you study something you're actually passionate about and I never really understood that until I did my OHS unit and I studied my diploma and I was like wow like you know I always just thought I wasn't very good at studying and learning things but it turns out you actually need to care about what you're learning and if you care about what you're learning you can actually do pretty well so um, that was kind of a, kind of a new thing for me. Anyway, this, this is going for 11 minutes. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. Bunny, hmm? come here quietly. Oh, hi. Don't eat that. <laughs> oh, hi. You, you, you're sharing space with your brother. <laughs> you, you, you happy down there? Yeah? Comfy. You've, you've got your soft club. Hi. Clubhouse. Clubhouse. Only big dogs allowed. Hi. Hi, Jelly. <laughs> this one just walks in and starts licking. Like... Nah, I already need to go more in the tank. I think you need to run away. Go! Go find him!
Du crazy. Du crazy. Crazy dog. Crazy dog. Crazy. You done? That was like less than two minutes, Wilfred. Well, he was running pretty spastically to begin with. Yeah, he didn't take many breaks. <laughs> okay, next dog. Wolfie, come on. Without the skills, Tao. She's growing. <laughs> That's unexpected. She almost playgrounds like Wilfred now. Yeah, she just wants to jump from couch to couch. The floor is lava! I thought your foot was sore, Tao. <laughs> she sounds like Wilfred. She likes just play bowing too. running. Well, it was longer than Wolfred. Not that much longer though. <laughs> like 30 seconds longer. Okay, switch! Okay, next. Oh hi, she found me. She found me straight away. <laughs> I love how she scoots with her bottom down. Whoa! What was that? <laughs> that was, she's parkouring off your chest. And not the springboard, miss. She's like, come on, Daddy, that wasn't even two minutes. Oh, you're so unfit, Daddy. Come on. Maybe you can teach her to just like jump on her hind legs. Because she's almost doing it. What happens if you run away from her? Does she chase you?
Buddy? He was totally rounding you, you up. No oh my god, maybe he was a farmer's dog. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Launch yourself into my lap. Oh, give me oh, a kiss, he's Dad. Kiss. He's so happy. He's going to have a heart attack, but he's happy. <coughs> Whoa. Hi. You had a good 12-minute high-intensity cardio session. Hey Alfie, how about you round up the dogs? Oh gosh, they found me. Oh, is Tal Zero okay? Didn't open up? Yeah, it doesn't seem to be dead. Your foot doesn't seem to be hurting anymore either, Tal. Is it kind of like think, Wilfred's foot? No, I think it's a, I think it's like a stiffness thing. Because, let's see, when she got up this morning, like, she was really struggling with it. But after she walked outside and weed and stuff, she was a lot better. So awkward. What, what is he doing? What is this? Arm is just flailing in the air. Let me be submissive to you. It's uh, Thursday evening. It's almost 8 o'clock. I've been working all day on my recruitment and selection assignment that's due uh, Monday night. So um, just about half a week away. What? Oh, it's due about half a week away. Um, going pretty well on it. I did start working on it before this, so I had a little bit done, but not as much as I would have liked. So I managed about uh, seven pages, seven or eight pages today of stuff, of information, so um, that's good. It's probably going to be about a 20 page report, um, but I'm getting there, so I'm not too worried. Um, although I will be working on it every day, I think. And I've been tracking what I eat. So that's really good. Hello, Tao. You're not paying attention. Um, Tao, we didn't pay for those. <laughs> I want the greenies. Don't eat the greenies. When I was an only dog, I used to get greenies. And then you became cheap and stopped buying them for me. And now we get crappy and distant. Okay, okay, that's okay. It's still green. Okay. Mostly. Okay, she's just sitting on my leg. Okay. And uh, we got our iHub order today, which is fantastic for them. Just about out of melatonin, which is what we order from iHub. Um, and then all the rest is just like to get our shipping up, so we get free shipping, basically. And it's fun because it means we get to try new like little things that we wouldn't normally buy. So um, we've been really good with tea lately. Like we're trying to use up all our stuff. So this is our tea cupboard. This whole bottom section is pretty much all tea. There's a couple of jars here that that's uh, emergency coffee, emergency cocoa powder and some sweetener. Um, and then there's some more emergency coffee up there, but the rest is all tea. And we've been really good about not buying more tea until we use up what we have. So I'm almost through with this. And there are some that we always buy. Like we always have peppermint. Um, Mr. Moose quite likes that. And we always have some kind of um, sleepy tea. We always have... 
I mean like in, in tea bags. We always have like just regular black tea for me. Um, and then usually we also have some kind of green tea as well, some kind of green tea variant. So um, I'm really lazy. I only, I'll only drink tea if it's in a tea bag because it's just how lazy I am. Like I cannot be bothered dealing with tea leaves outside of a tea bag. So that is why we have that. But we're at that point where we've almost finished all our tea bag tea. We've only got this and this. Everything else is tea leaves. So I'm gonna have to deal with that at some point. But got this, the St. Duffour organic green tea with ginger and honey. We haven't tried this one, but the the uh, regular green tea is really good. So I didn't actually know they made tea bags. I thought they just made jam. But they make tea. And this is the one that we got the last order we did. We had a sampler of the golden mango. It was really nice. So that's pretty exciting, but I think we won't open those until we finish one of the other ones. I figure out where I can stash it. Okay, and then... Oh, I did not buy any cookies or banana bread today. I'm very proud of myself. Um, this is the melatonin I use. Into the light. Um... I take one every night. It helps me stay asleep for longer. Um, and it's not, um, it's not, what's the word? It's not addictive or anything. So yeah, it's, it's a good alternative to any kind of sleeping aid. Um, I got this. I'm excited about this. This is the Walden Farms calorie free apple butter fruit spread. So it's like kind of slightly watery jammy texture I think um, <laughs> it sounds gross um, but I thought that might be nice on bagels and as you can see there is nothing nothing in the back it's like what is it made out of? it's made out of water apple flavor sucralose citric acid like it's made out of like nothing basically so It'll be interesting. Some Walden's Farm stuff is nice and some is really not very nice. Like the caramel spread I really didn't like. But I like this, one of their syrups. So I know it's hit and miss with these. But I don't order things like this very often because they're pretty heavy. So they, um, you need to get like under a certain weight to get free shipping with um, iHub. And then I got this Testa Nut Nativa Dark Hazelnut spray so it's like um nutella basically but it's um less sugar than nutella i suspect it's 110 calories for one packet so it's still pretty bad but it looked tasty and this is most of my life this one and there's another one when you get samplers they're really cheap so they're like less than a dollar normally to get a sampler and you are allowed to try like a few samplers, so I also got the classic spread. Um, it's about, it's a bit bigger than a tea bag, the size of the sachet. But um, these dang sticky rice chips. I don't know, I've never really seen anything like that, so I was, I was intrigued. It's uh, just a one serve pack. I don't know, it sounds tasty. It's a really small bag. It's like the size of like a kids chip bag but um it's a good serving cooking, so that's always cute and i got some protein powders um the thing i don't like about protein powders is normally you have to buy the giant tub and you don't know if you're gonna like it or not so if i ever see any um sachet versions i normally try to buy a sachet so i can see if i like it first just in the future it's nice to know so this is 100% whey protein, it's a vanilla flavor. And you can, you don't have to mix it with like a specific thing. You can mix it with any, any liquid, but it's gonna have that vanilla flavor. So obviously you don't wanna mix it with like, I don't know if you mix it with like apple juice, it might be weird. And then there's the Vega Sport chocolate flavor. Tilly. Hush. Um, this one has BCAAs in it and it's post-workout so that's good. 
and this one's also post-workout, but it's the mocha flavor. So, hmm. And these ones are plant-based, these, the vegan ones, so, um, they're a bit higher in calories, but they they have some added fiber and calcium, so that's good. Yum. And then, I was kind of curious about this. They're sugar sachets. Um, but they're made with organic agave inulin, with monk fruit and stevia. I've never seen that combination before, so I don't like, like, stevia by itself, I'm not a big fan of. Um, and equal, I'm not a big fan of. Splendor, I'm not a big fan of, so I don't know. There, there is one that I tried once, and I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was, but it was, like, it tasted like, um, it didn't have that really bad after, after sweetener taste, so, um, I'm interested in this. Because we really don't use that much sugar when we cook. Um, we maybe use like a tablespoon a week of like added sugar to um, food that we cook and it's normally for Japanese food. So if this is a good supplement, that would be interesting. And the last thing I got were three face masks. They're the Tony Moly mask sets. There's a seaweed one. Um, a red wine one, which I thought was interesting. And I think the one in the middle is like lime or lemon something. So um, I'll have a look at that later when I put it in the bathroom. But I just thought it'd be fun to do. I like doing face masks in the bath. So yeah, and so I think this was the most expensive like sampler thing. This was like five dollars. The rest of the things were like a dollar. This apple butter was probably about five dollars, um, and the melatonin is like, I want to say like ten dollars, so, yes. So we went to the vet this morning to get, um, a lump on Tao's chest looked at, and it turned out it's fine. It, it was just full of, um, like liquidy blood, like not thick blood, um, but we talked to the vet about the consult, because the last consult we went to... We didn't get charged that much, so we were like, maybe they mischarged us, so we asked and she actually had mischarged us. So she charged us for a consult for last time, but then she didn't charge us for today. So, <laughs> um, yes, so that's that. Um, I haven't worked on my assignment at all today. It's 2.30. I've just been listening to music on loud. I have cleaned the house, basically. I've vacuumed and sprayed all the carpets, hello dog, um, changed all the um, dog blankets over, everything is airing out freshly, I have some, well this is really dusty but we're gonna move this soon so, um, got some eucalyptus and lemon in the burner which is always on, Mr. Moose has nearly finished his puzzle, he's getting there, um, I uh, wiped and vacuumed down the front. I even did all like the baseboards and everything. Oh, hi. Um, we've been trying to deal with this pee spot here underneath. Because um, it turns out we think the boys had been peeing on the bookshelf and we didn't know about it until we moved the bookshelf really. And then there's like a stain on the carpet now, which we've been trying to get out, get the smell out and everything. Looks like the stain's gonna stay. The smell is probably there for the dogs, but we can't smell it anymore. So that's a good thing. But I've just, um, I did another spot treatment and then sprayed it, I like scrubbed it again, sprayed it with, uh, what's it called? Like um, antibacterial stuff. And then while I was there, I wiped down the edges of the uh, sliding door thing because you know how like that bit down there like because I never cleaned that that's not one I would ever clean but I was there and it was like really disgusting so I cleaned that all out and the door opens a lot nicer now <laughs> surprise um, although I haven't cleaned the glass yet and I haven't cleaned that because we need to figure out uh, this is starting to get a bit tatty but it does the job so I don't know if we need to replace it or not um, 
it's basically just so that we can keep like flies and bugs from coming in and mosquitoes and also stop um, cold air from coming in and going out and stuff like that so we normally have this door pulled up to here and that way the dogs can go in and out because it's you can see them walking in and out because it turns brown from them because if they get muddy and then they come in and blah 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 but anyway it's a really good system to like not have heat escaping and stuff but at the same time it's like pretty unsightly so I don't know we'll see we kind of need to have something there though so meh um and I picked up all the poops Tilly is out the back eating a bone today is Friday so what we're doing for hi Wilfred what we're doing for this month is uh they all need to slim down a little bit except Tao who's fine um but everyone needs to lose about a kilo I think so what we're gonna do is we cut down the raw food by 50 grams um, and we except the towel and we cut down uh, on Fridays they're not gonna get they normally get bones once a week and like a big treat once a week so we're gonna still give them their bones and their treat but we're gonna cut out the meal that we also give on that day normally so normally they would get like a bone to chew on once a week or so and then they would get dinner and then at another point during the week they'd get another treat like a rustic or a pizza or something but instead they're getting smaller bone so they're doing lamb marrow bones rather than uh like beef marrow bones um so they get their bone during the day and then at night time instead of their nighttime treat we're gonna give them this week they have a pig's ear um but it's not a um, smoked pig's ear it's actually just a raw pig's ear so that will be interesting because I'm not sure how they will go figuring out how to eat it but we'll see um, so I did all the poops I've got to start weeding there at some point and I need to mow the lawn but that'll be next week it's okay for now um, and I've got so much uni work to do I can't really afford to do that so the only other things i need to do out here that i want to get done i want to sweep out here and then um hose it down um and we need to figure out the bears they they were out the back airing which we do normally once every couple of weeks but then kintaro fell in like some wet grass clippings so they got stuck to him and then he stained and so we have to like air them out some more and like clean them off somehow but I don't know I'm trying to figure it out and where Mr. Moose is working on like making an ergonomic stool thing which is in the works but I still need to clean out here um hi Mr. Moose and I spent the morning cleaning the kitchen as well I did the the sinks and everything and I cut up some food. Hi Wilfred. You, you have to wait. You're number three. We're at number one. Okay? You have to go get a ticket and sit down and wait in line. He's really confused. He's always really confused. If I lick you, can I, can I eat some milk? Quick, 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 quick. Hey guys, look at my crazy hair. Um, so, I've had a really productive morning slash afternoon, um, I got some groceries, I think I showed you guys, and I got a coffee, which I'm gonna work on now, just sitting down for lunch, which is very late, because it's 3.30, um, I've, like, done all the tidying of the house, I've done the house cleaning for the week, I have another load of dog blankets to hang in about half an hour I think and I'm currently rotating the doggos on their bones for the week so they've each got a whole lamb marrow bone to eat so um, they can be out there anywhere between like half an hour and for Tao probably two hours because she just takes forever to eat bones but um we're up to Warford so we're more than halfway there so that's good the weather's turning a little bit, the wind's picking up, um, it's been cloudy all day but it looks like it might rain um, on the other side of the house so gotta get the doggos finished before then because they eat at the back and um, 
we had, yeah, we just got heaps done today. Um, Mr. Moose helped me um, wrangle the dogs and cats, and we did all their nails, which is great. Uh, we only got Wilfred's front half, because he'd only let us get that much, but that's pretty good. I think we got all of Tao's nails except for one, which was good. Um, got like two of Tilly's nails, got all of Alfie's nails. But Tilly's fine, she wears hers down really quickly, so no problem. And we got the cats, no problem. Um, and I need to order their flea treatment stuff. Um, we're, we're on a off month. So, um, during autumn, winter, we just try to treat them every other month or every third month, depending on where we take them, just to give their systems a little bit of a break, because it is very, like, chemically and intense what they use, so, um, but they will have to start back up for spring and summer, they'll need to go back to monthly flea doses, because it's a little bit safer that way, and, yeah, I am going to study now. Um, for the next like four hours I think we're having ramen tonight so Mr. Moose can make that um, and we've got like a whole container of leftover wombok and enoki from last night's sukiyaki so we can mix that in and that'll be really great and if I could I would like to go for a run today but my studying has to come first unfortunately for this weekend the next four days because this assignment's uh, worth quite a lot so I've got to make sure I get it done and do a good job on it. Hey guys, it's five o'clock on Saturday afternoon. I'm in my uh, pink fluffy kitty robe from Rivers. Um, it's really cold today. Mr. Moose has been at the Yu Yangs all day. Bastard. Um, he doesn't have anything he needs to do this weekend, so he's gone to get some green time, which is great for him. He's gone caching, I think. Um, he's been, I think he's been away for about five hours now, so he probably got quite a good chunk of caching in. I think he's on his way home. Um, I just prepped all the veggies for dinner and the chicken. So um, the pumpkin is ready in the oven because uh, it takes a little bit longer and then we've got the potatoes and the cats will go in with the chicken when Mr. Moose gets back because he makes the topping like the sauce for it. He mixes like oil and herbs and salt and pepper and stuff and he likes to make his own um, like coating for it. So and like I, I don't really care what's on it so um, he does that and then pops it all in the oven so dinner is probably a couple of hours out but that's okay I've got a snack um, the doggies have been pretty sad Alfie got to go out this morning for a walk with Mr. Moose um, the others have just been licking their butts good job Tao um, and just sleeping really it's so cold they're just like huddled together which is kind of cute and I've got the heater turned up, but it's still really cold. Um, I think we're expecting like a cold front this weekend and that's why. Uh, but yeah, I've just been studying all day. Um, I haven't gotten as much work done as I wanted to get done, but I'm still, I'm getting there. I just haven't been very productive today. So um, I'm probably, this is due Monday night, like midnight Monday. So, um, I'm probably, I have two full days left. I may stay up tonight, depending on how tired I get in the evening. I didn't sleep that well, so I haven't slept well for three nights now. So, um, we'll see how tired I am. But if I'm okay, I'll stay up for a little while. If not, I'll probably try to stay up on Sunday. <laughs> 